All right, it's been a little while since I did a video, so I shot a match down in Anderson, Texas, um, yesterday. Um, it was a pretty good match. A lot of a lot of great shooters there. Adam Robinson, Dan Jarecki, uh, Christian. Uh, I'm gonna butcher his name. Aaron Roberts builds a great rifle. So anyway, they hosted a great match. And um, I shot it, and I, I did a lot better than I had my previous two matches. But uh, one thing that has been asked a few times is uh, to share my reloading practices with everybody. So let me show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is I tumble these. I use uh, Corn Cop Media, uh, Frankfurt Arsenal uh, Tumbler, and then I D-prime uh, in my RCBS Rock Chucker. Uh, and once that's done, and I tumble for maybe 30, 45 minutes uh, just to get it clean. I don't, I don't do a whole lot. And then what I'll do is show you what I do to a kneel. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to clean, D prime, or tumble, D prime, uh, and kneel, and then uh, trim. I've got a RCBS three-way trimmer that I have a power adapter for. And then I'll prime, uh, throw probably about 38 to 38.5 grains of H4350, uh, Federal 210 primers, and Burger 105s. So I'll show you this annealing setup real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a quick video of what I'm doing to prepare my brass. I took this unknown munitions uh, preloaded brass. I've already fired it um, once and what they loaded me was some six Creedmoor Hornady brass and I'm going to show you what I do or what my trim process is. Can you see that case neck? Okay so it's got a good deburr and chamfer and trim length. I can show you real quick that we're going from roughly 192. Let me get my. I like the. Uh, I like these Frankfurt Arsenal digital digital calipers. So our, we're going from roughly 192 one. Can you see that? 192 one. Pre trim, there's no chamfer or anything. 191 is the recommended trim length, and I go just under 190.9. And that half thou, yeah. But anyway, I get a real consistent trim length, and uh, I mean, the brass just looks great. Hornady is decent brass. It's not the best, but it's not uh, bad. It's uh, pretty good. The one thing I'm concerned about is how long the primer pockets are going to last. Um, I'll show you another video uh, that I'll probably mute because I'm doing everything out of sequence. And I haven't put together a video in a while, but basically um, I've got the large rifle primer pockets. I've got a lot of the Federal Gold Metal Match 210. Uh, M uh, primers. So basically what I'm doing and I'll show you this but you know I was I was uh, setting this in here and I've got a Forster uh, trimmer and all you do is you you know you tighten this and it locks the uh, well dang I can't the collet and then the triway trimmer is good for the VLDs but basically you slide this over the pre-existing thing. You do have to take out, there's a little uh, um, metal ring that goes around there and it'll come out. But basically what you want to do is knowing from my previous measurement that I, I want to go from 192.2 down to just under 190. Basically I need to make this ring uh, run back to the right. So that I get more extension out of the uh, shaft here, about one, or yeah. So if I'm at, 
you know, 192. Basically, I want to take it down a thou. And what I did is I ran out this, uh, this thing actually was like to, or I'm sorry, not a thou, but uh, to point. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to bring it in about a, uh, a thou, or I'm sorry. So if I'm point one nine, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm 192, so 100. So this is ones, uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So if I'm 192, one, I want to bring it back, uh, or ten thousandths, or a hundredth of an inch, right? Or actually, uh, twelve hundredths. So basically, then I use the back end of the calipers. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired, but you know. So what you do is you you uh, I use this to spread the thing, set it to you know. Actually, it's just like you know we're gonna be about right there, and then come back. So anyway. I'll show you how this works. Sorry, that's a real long explanation, but I've just got this drill hooked up to it. You get their power adapter, you unscrew the previous uh, uh, hand crank, and check it out. So we were at 192.2. We should be just under, yeah, so 190. A5. So, you know, this is plus or minus 5,000, so I'm right around 190. So, good to go. And then I dump it into the box. So, another thing that I do for my reloading process, and really, I'm sorry guys, I'm doing this out of sequence, but I, um, I anneal and then come over here with me. Here, follow me over here. Then I use corn cob media in my Frankfurt Arsenal tumbler for about an hour. And then I come back over here and I use my Lee decapping tool with a Hornady uh, lock and load bushing set. I use my RCBS uh, single stage press, pop the primer. Then what I'm going to do is I've set my uh, my dies, and I, I don't know, I'll figure out how to link it, but Eric Cortina has the perfect video on how to, how to set up your uh, sizing die, but I use the Hornady, uh, what are these, match grade dies, and I set this to bump two and a half thou, right? And in order to do that, you're going to have to take... A, and you're not gonna be able to see but basically you know you need the the uh, ogive measurement tool which is the bigger one okay I'm sorry not ogive shoulder measurement tool but you take this put it on set it to zero and then my overall length should be about 1.556 or, sorry so 1.555 and we're good and then uh, after I did that oh and I use a, a one sorry no not a 168 268 bushing in this and then I use the 21st century uh, reloading uh, expander mandrel and this expander mandrel die. So that's all it's for and I don't want to take it out because I don't want to drop it. It's a pretty precision ground uh, piece of kit. But it does a great job of expanding the neck and getting, you know, to help with uh, uniform... Uh, neck tension and then I expand pull it out take it over here chuck it up 
trim. And then I'm going to have to vacuum up all this mess later. But then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use my RCBS hand priming tool to uh, seat the primer. And then I will throw... Uh, you need to consult your reloading manual for what to throw, but I like, uh, so I'm not going to be responsible for what you do if it's unsafe, but I actually go lower than what the suggestion is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go roughly 2850 feet per second, okay? And I am going to use H4350, um, but yeah. 2850 is the number I'm looking for with the Burger 105 hybrid. Okay, but once I've got that set, then uh, here, now we'll go and show you the trim piece of brass. It is then, oh, you know what? It'd help if I re zero. It is just under 191, which is what the spec I've read suggests. I've seen it as low as 188. I didn't want to do that. Um, so, you know, that's what I do. One trick, if you want to set up your sizing die, I'm done with this uh, expander man right now. But if you want to take your sizing die, set it in here. Um, and you know what, I need to turn this so that I see my zero mark. But set it in here, you take a loaded round run it run this way up low uh drop the ram and then take this down until it touches when it barely touches you're good to go okay so i'll use that for my seating later because i'm going to load some dummy rounds to practice with but that all works pretty good and then uh one other thing I, i've been kind of playing with is this uh imperial dry neck lube it's worked pretty good uh for some some initial expanding and sizing tests that I use, but um, right now my go-to is this Frankfurt Arsenal case lube. It's lanolin and alcohol mixture. I'm nailing with uh, propane, sweet lady propane. And then uh, I use that with the, here, I'll move back over here. With the EP integrations annealer. I run it at setting 16 sorry it's pretty dark in my garage but yeah that's what I'm using and it does a pretty good job leaving it leaving you know or getting a consistent neck tension with it which is what annealing's for and also so the brass doesn't get brittle so I'll do one more piece for you real quick literally that fast you know and that's that's pretty clean it gives a real nice line. I mean, it's it's just very, let's see if I can get a better picture. Yeah, I mean, you can just tell it's nice. And then, uh, let's see what else. I did get the, uh, I have a VLD stem that I'm trying, or a, I'm sorry, it's the ELD stem because it's Hornady. And I also have the 110 A-tip. I'm gonna try the A-tip, see how that works. Because I've got some 110 JLKs on order right now, but I do have some, uh, I got a thousand of those on order just because I thought it would be good to try and then uh, I got some uh, burger 105s I got plenty of those to go through and I still have some prime six millimeter Creedmoor ammo and some unknown munition six Creedmoor ammo so I got plenty to work with and I also have the uh, the unicorn dust here too yeah yeah I bought that before COVID though so, you know, supplies are what they are, but uh, if I could get some small rifle primers, that would be great. Also, you want to you wanna really use the calipers beforehand. Otherwise, you can, you know, way under trim a piece of brass like I did here. And I messed it up, but then I was like, hey, you know what? Mistakes happen. Whatever. So, I hope this is helpful and informative. If you'd like to see more of that content, leave me a thumbs up or a comment or something. Also, I'm using the Frankfurt Arsenal uh, tumbler, or not the tumbler, but the sifter, and it works great. I had no real problems with, uh, you know, leftover pieces in the cases. 
I'm sorry the loading bench is a mess. I just got it thrown together so I could get this started. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope y'all are, are safe. Um, you know, if you got any questions or anything, let me know. And, uh, you know, enjoy some safe shooting, all right? Thanks. So here's my annealing setup. I've got a uh, EP integrations annealer and uh, I'd encourage you to check out Elfster his uh, reloading channel. He has a lot of good information. But this thing works great. And it was one of the ones that were actually available. And you have this little uh, I'll spindle here you can use that that uh, wing nut to thread it out by or I'm sorry in to give more length with those with these two little holes and then you can uh, sorry you can go counterclockwise and run it further out for say like 223 or 300 blackout or something like that but it works good you just want to make sure that your uh, brass is annealed you know on the neck once we're yeah, I'll show you these two pieces and then I'll show you a piece that already was annealed don't give me crap about safety but anyway so yeah look at that I mean that's a real clean uh, annealing mark um, it, you know I've got it running at 16 right now is the number for my